Howdy y'all, take it here and welcome to another adventure. We're continuing in Final Fantasy 16. So we kind of had an abrupt end last time because I had unknown storms rolling in and I was very sad and upset because I have lost power before. So that happened. Um, but basically <laughs> what's happening storyline wise, we are in the desert going down to, I believe they said it was called Drake's Bang. Is it Drake's Bang? Journal? Yeah, Drake's Fang. Okay. So we're going down to Drake's Fang because we know that Hugo is down there and we want Hugo's head because we want revenge for what he did to Rosaria and just to end him because he's a bad person, apparently. Remember that Hugo attacked Rosaria because he found out that Clive is Sid and Sid is Clive. And so um, he wanted revenge because he thinks that Sid killed Benedicta when in reality... Clive killed Benedicta. Now, who sent her head? Because he did mention a head in the box, Sid's head in the box, and then it had that, that flashback. I bet you it was Benedicta's head in the box. Who sent the head? We know it wasn't Sid. He left her on the battlefield. And we know it wasn't Clive. He had no freaking idea. So it had to have been either Annabella, who seems to be a big conniving person in all of this. She's got her fingers in everything. Or it could have been Barnabas, Odin to enrage Titan. Why he would want that though, I still don't know. So you fast forward to the present and then they had that big fight in Rosalith and Clive won. The only reason he didn't kill him was because his ability kicked in. He took Titan's powers, which I'm not using them as you can see. I like the set up that I have. Um, but some dude who I don't know his name yet, but I, I think I remember him literally like punched Hugo, this big brawly six foot something, probably 300 pound man, and just carried him off like he was a sack of potatoes. Oh yeah, and Hugo has no hands. Eee, they're gone. He cut off his hands. So they're taking him to Drake's Fang where there's a rich, rich abundance of ether to try to heal his wounds faster. We are now trying to follow him to kill him. And he claims that he's not going to go after Drake's Fang because Gav asked him not to. He doesn't have Jill along. He doesn't have Gav around. He just has his uncle who's not going the whole way. I love Uncle Byron. Um, so he promises he's not going to go after the crystal, the mother crystal. I don't think that's going to happen. I think Titan is going to like full on Titan out at this point and the fight is going to destroy the crystal. I think that's what's going to happen. So that's what's going on there. We are going down to that crystal, mother crystal, to try to stop or at least get to Hugo, who is being kind of whisked away by royalists from the kingdom of Woolid. Woolid? I never pronounced it. Right. The kingdom of Woolid. Odin's realm. And then the ships that went down on the coastline where Uncle Byron was like, oh, they all look so sullen-faced. It's because they think that Hugo's dead. Like, Hugo didn't come back with them. So they think that their leader is gone. And, um... The Empire is taking advantage of this, of course. Annabella, who struck the deal with Hugo to attack Rosalith, is claiming that her son, Prince Olivier, was the one who brokered the peace between Domecchia and uh, the Empire. When in reality, it was her who did it, and he doesn't freaking care because he's a snobbish little boy who doesn't understand what's going on. And then she keeps giving these snarky looks to Dion and I wonder if she sees Dion like she saw Clive. Like, you're not good enough sort of thing. But the other thing is she doesn't have Dion's trust. She is the stepmother. She is the evil stepmother. Dion probably does not trust her. So she's been whispering into the Emperor's ear that his firstborn son, Dion, is going to betray him. He's going to be treacherous. And it's going to happen sooner than later. So he apparently had the astrologers like astrology, the stars or whatever to see what the stars said. And they confirm that Dion is going to betray the emperor soon, which the emperor is pissed because a, that's his firstborn son and B that's his secret weapon. Not really secret. That is his main weapon. His son, he sees him more as a weapon. He is Bahamut. So he sends Dion to all of these fights for the Empire. And even if Dion is against it, and we all know that using this thing over and over again kills them, 
he'll do it for his empire and his father, which makes me feel really bad for him because, like, they had that meeting in the audience chamber where they were like, oh, well, the Dalmechians now want to broker peace. Thank you, Prince Olivier, blah, 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 blah. But now that they want to broker the peace, we're going to have them give us, because we have all these refugees coming in now into Dominion and stuff. And by the way, they did move their capital. They're like, we're going to take all of their gold and their resources. We're going to make, don't make you go broke to pay for all this. And then we'll have the peace treaty signed. And then the emperor was like, no, 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 no. Have them collect all their gold and stuff and give it to us. Stall on the peace treaty because the units aren't going to leave until the peace treaty is signed. Like the Dalmechians are staying on empire soil until the peace treaty is signed. He's like, stall on the peace treaty. Send Bahamut to kill as many Dalmechians as you can. And then Dion is like, but this fighting is going to go into empire cities with empire civilians and they're going to get caught in the crossfire and they're going to die. And the emperor is like, well, we can have another one born and we can rebuild the buildings. And Dion even said, like, may Gregor forgive you or something like that. So I feel really bad for Dion because he's so devoted to his empire and his people and even his father. And his father doesn't respect him. His father, I don't even think, loves him. Maybe he does. I don't think so. Maybe he did in the past, but now he just sees him as a tool. And if the Emperor sees Magically Inclined as Annabella does, then he really hates Dion. Because he would hate any Dominant that could possibly challenge him. And if Dion is treacherous, he is just like the Bearers. So anyway, so we are in the desert. We are heading south to the Mother Crystal. We got into a bar fight, which Joshua was in the same hotel in bar place, whatever. And they fled. So Joshua didn't know that we were here, but Clive figured it out because the Phoenix Feather reacted that he carries with him. So he knew Joshua was there, especially since Joshua still doesn't eat his carrots. He doesn't like carrots, apparently. <laughs> but Yote got them out of there and she saw Clive fighting. So she knows Clive was there. So yeah, so we are now going to speak, I think, to a couple of people in town to find out how to get to the Mother Crystal. I'm guessing we're just going to burst right through. I feel like a big fight's coming. We'll see. Like we be back to Drake's family, Ooh, items. Are you looking for something in particular? Not in particular. Reduce lightning round cold out. No. 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 Um, good. Okay. Are you well? Thank you. Excuse me. I take for Gilbert's sake. Wait. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance oh, of yeah. the mill's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. That is some heavy looking felt. He must be freaking sweating. So, I forgot. We are trying to find our contact that used to work with Sid. Um, hopefully she can find a way to Drake's Fang. I believe that's what we're doing. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Nope. I won't keep you long. I'm looking for <coughs> someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Well, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. Thank you. Gerner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. So kind. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. 
You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. <laughs> Believe you me. Toriel, baby. My super powered pup. And I was right. I was saying, oh, is he Fenrir? Yeah, good boy. Oh, he's so cute. So another thing that happened is that Torgal went like super doggy mode, which was amazing. And he's all blue and glowy and stuff. Apparently, he is... Uh, like a northern like winter wolf or something and like the great hound Fenrir Mommy, I want to play with the crystal. How many times do I have Where to tell you? Where am I going? But yeah, so um he's Fenrir. I was like, "Oh, is this Fenrir? He is so Fenrir." Hmm. Okay, so he's somewhere around here. Hello? Are you here? Is it you? Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for a woman by the name of Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Okay, is this the baths? Well, it sounds like we have our man. I Perhaps. bet you... Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. I bet you it's the young man that they were talking about. Ferda. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Ooh, look at all the gold you know back there. Zina Dalamil. We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hair? Ah, yes. She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. That's a little too easy. It could be a trap! Do you think we can trust him? Nope. Only as far as I think he trusts us. It's a trap. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Told you. I beg your pardon? Trap. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Oh, daddy! <laughs> He's fighting with me! <laughs> uh, yeah, keep going in circles. Do it for me. Do it again! <laughs> again! Again! I'm a monster! Okay, I can deal with this. Fire! Now then, what were we talking about? Oh, new enemy approaches. I think not. <laughs> I'm a monster! I'm a monster! I am a monster. Okay, so these are faster. Oh, they are faster. Look at that. Woo! <gasps> oh, oh, you are so dead. Oh, you are so dead. Hold on just a second. My phone keeps going off. There seems to be a lot of negative weather around me. We all know what happened one time when I had negative weather. We lost power. And I was very sad. How are y'all still alive? You should be dead. <laughs> Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. 
Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. Hmm. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. To the lock of leisure. Saving. <laughs> And Jill is missing out on all of this because she needed some R and R. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be trans. My carpet. Hello. Is this the place? The smithy. Who was Forge? The Briar's kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. Hmm. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Okay. So it was the blacksmith the whole time. There was no lady, Rizuma, whatever. Oh, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? Yeah. <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Mm. I trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> Not right now. Nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means, find someone else to help you on your way. I can make my own way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Get you an item? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. What do you want? Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's hmm. would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? <laughs> but enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. What do you want? I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good what day. What trouble in Dalamil? What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. 
What did you <laughs> call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. <laughs> Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good, Good luck, luck, Uncle. Uncle. Don't get into any trouble, please. Follow the crystal. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Hmm. A deposit. The juiciest meat breeds. You wouldn't believe how much. You Follow the crystal. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? I'm not a soldier. Sword oh, polishing. I'll be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. Okay. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Hmm. Okay, so that was unpleasant. <laughs> okay, let's go. Down this way. Over here. Where are you? There you are. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. You look tired. Just a question. <laughs> you need coffee. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. Mm. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. I was staring at this chocobo. So, the men of the rock, I'm assuming, are, um, oh, that's the wrong way. I'm assuming men of the rock mean royalists, right? What is this? Wanted posters? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, oh, there you are. Merchant! Speak to thee! Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's hmm. taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. They probably that's that's the trouble that he was speaking of. Was um The trouble that he was speaking of was uh the fact that the crystals aren't coming in and he needs crystals. What was all that crashing and banging about before? <laughs> Are we not allowed in? It's you. The one who broke all our furniture. Yeah, what I did. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But what? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Is he doing something he shouldn't be? Uncle Byron! What are you doing, Uncle Byron? Not that door. Where in the world did he go? Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush. Oh god, Jay. Huh? He's speaking to a Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection. 
that I would be only too happy to part with should you give me reason to do so. Oh my god, is that how he's getting the information? All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. Uncle Wait, Byron. These cars really annoy me. These cars really annoy me. Uncle. So that's how he wanted to get information directly from the source. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. Hmm. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. Jeez. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did I like you Uncle discover? Byron. That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. Itchy nose, itchy, some itchy, people itchy, seem to itchy, think they're being itchy, stolen. Itchy, 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 itchy. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere mm -hmm. and pocketing the profits. Mm -hmm. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with them then, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. <laughs> We'll soon wipe that smirk <laughs> off his face. I like Uncle Byron. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect hmm. place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. Yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh my god, it's so far away, Uncle. Why? Why do you have to pick a spot so far away? What the heck? You okay, dude? This river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Hmm. Huh. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. God, the water looks girl, beautiful. I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey. And they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Such happy times. The water looks amazing. Oh my goodness. That looks refreshing. Ugh. Okay, where am I going? A thousand gil for a measly Where the heck am I going? Okay. Yes, but how do I get there? Okay. I got lost. I got totally lost. We're on our way again. I got so lost. So undeniably lost. Item. Byron, get the item for me. Whoop! Good job! Good job! God, that is so cool. Oh, come on, it's just far enough. I don't want to hurt the chocobo. Chocobo are safe. Okay, am I going the right way? Oh my god, how far is this, Uncle Byron? Oh, I 
love that I can call you out here. Let's go, girl. Fly, Ambrosia. Fly! Oh my god, this is so far. Okay, we made it. Thank you, Ambrosia. That took forever. I'll take it from here. I love that the sand gets on their boots. Like the tiny little details like that. It astonishes me. Oh my god, look at all the crystals they have. Yeah. Freaking thieves. Thieves in the night. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? Yes. All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Wow. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Who? And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations huh. are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Hmm. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. <laughs> My lord, what is the meaning of it this? It was a sting operation! Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! Uh, no. <laughs> You too. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> Aerial blast times a hundred. I am a monster. Whoop. Don't try to cure in between. <laughs> I will just keep hitting you. Come here. Oh, I messed that up. That's okay. Uppercut. Oh, it has after attack. That's why. Sick him, boy. Oh, Targo, you knocked him up at the wrong time. <laughs> okay, new enemies approach. Oh, I can't. Okay. Okay, I can't. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And have a taste of that. And uppercut. God, that is faster. Sick him. Oh, you're stuck. That's okay. Got him. Sorry, Uncle Byron. I got that. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm terrible. 
So Wallet is working well, with them. That wasn't too or bad. just some offshoot of it. Don't you like my performance, huh? Mm. I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Oh yeah. Great bit. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. He was watching us the whole time. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? The whole time. Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so <laughs> thoroughly. <laughs> Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was so? the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed As it promised. Is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kukka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. But now you have what you need. We have trust. God, they're pretty. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. But this means we got your trust, right? Like, that was the whole point of this, was to gain your trust. Now we have it. Sometime later. Was he going to sell them now? I hope not. Let's give it to the it people. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Sid. Clive. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Okay. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Mm -hmm. Passage through the south gate, was it not? Yes. To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I mm -hmm. saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Is I really so obvious? Mm -hmm. And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, nope. thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> but you have a Greybeard. So it's not Here, entirely wrong. Wear this. Oh, I got another Boy Scout badge. Got another Boy Scout badge. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubo. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. So he was her all along. Oh, we are lost the land. To his Achilles. Stolices are so weird. Hmm. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say Clive? Whichever. So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. All right, so we solved the crystal problem. Now we can go down south. My renown. Wonder when I get my next thingy. My next renown bonus. Oh, there are side quests. Well, there are only two. Okay, we can do two. Two is quick. I've never even forged a button. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm. Neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. 
I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm a guest, yo. I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. Why don't you just ask? I guess I could give you a hand. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Bryce Kiss has been. And that Lubor needs all the capable hmm. hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, so I'm going to help Blacksmith? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. What? And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. <laughs> The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more, the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling True. in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. At least he's doing it with me. Right. Good luck. I mean, Clive is Let's too nice. Says something useful. <laughs> Clive is so nice. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to the butcher. And do whatever else might be good. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. <laughs> I better get to it. We got another quest here. It would make a fine oh no, no we don't. Okay. Hello. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? Do you use knives? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat, no problem. But sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. Thank you. So a knife that stays sharp. Mm. Makes sense. Okay. Oh. Nope, that's not part of it. Okay. Now this is just another quest. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Let's go get this. Oh, you look down. All those years of toil. Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dusnoff Terraces. And tell me what you find there. All right. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. It ain't that serious, yo. Not that serious. Ooh, prioritize. Almost forgot to prioritize that one. Okay. Silver platter. Hmm, 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 They've opened the gate. Lubo was true to his word. Where's the other person I'm supposed to talk to? Oh, there they are. Oh. I knew there was somewhere out here. What is it? Me no move for charter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume 
You use one out in the field. Makes sense, yeah. Um, has to be able to put up with some punishment. Don't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. <laughs> okay. Oh, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Wait, how do I get out there? Oh, wait, no, I gotta go out the gate, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, uncle. I have to go out the game. We should get going soon. Do you have water? I don't want to do story. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubal? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Okay. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Telmeki and Walud are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. Okay. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. You care! I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Thought you were staying behind. How do I get across? Close my ass. That is not close, dude. Come on, girl, the gate's open now. Hmm. God, it is so bright here. What the hell are those things? Oh. Oh. Let's get going. There we go. By the flames. That explains the heat. Well, let's blow it out. Boom! Lightning! I am a monster. Second boy. Second boy. Into the fire. Oh! I did not see that coming. Yahtzee! What did you do? Oh! Old Faithful! <laughs> Let's accept the truth! Old Faithful! Boom! Doom! Ba da da boom! Ba da da do 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 do! Oh, I am a monster! Yes! Good job, Torgal! Very nice. I love that's named Old Faithful. Let's hope it's enough to keep the baths from boiling. Well, let's get some items. Got this item. Was that it? 
And can I warp back? Because I do not want to run. Oh, thank God. Whew! I was hoping to get out of the heat for a little while. Okay, dude. This is what uh, a knife is supposed to be. So? How'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps hmm. Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. And that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but <laughs> I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin. And it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Lubor? Eh, the other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favourite of Forge Master Lubor's. Who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. And we have to find her? Okay, well, I'm going to turn this one in first. You see why my phone went off. Needed to a silk Hold on just a second. Storm's popping up everywhere. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and see if we saved the bath. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. <laughs> it was a bunch of bombs. And one big one it's called Old Faithful. Fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something new to worry about. <laughs> but I've burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Oh, thank you. Right. It's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. You're welcome. I saved your business. Ooh. That was 25 renown. was more thunder that was more thunder out there why pray tell when there's a zero percent chance of rain right now was there thunder and outside my window <sighs> where in the world is this merchant what Oh no, we're going to pause here for now. That is too far of a run for now. We're going to go ahead and save because there's more noises outside and we all remember what happened last time. I didn't pay attention. I lost my power. So that is going to be it for now. We didn't really do a lot. Well, we discovered that the lady of the inn is actually a young boy, a young man. He was a boy when Sid was around. And he just uses that as a disguise, as a ruse, so people don't easily know who he is. And he was able to get us access to the south gate so we can get to the mother crystal. 
And he told us how to get into the Mother Crystal location through the mines that are not as heavily guarded. That's good. We know Koopka is there. Our mission is just to end Koopka. But I have a feeling it's going to end up destroying the Mother Crystal as well. Because I bet you there's so much ether there. And he's so angry. And he's in this rage since he lost his hands. I think he's going to turn into Big Titan. And we're going to have an iconic fight. Which would be amazing. I want to know what it's like to fight on a dude that's like bigger than a mountain. Oh, stop it, Clive. So anyway, um, so yeah. So other, other than that, we didn't really do much else. We found there was a, people taking crystals. We found that Woolid and um, Dalmechia are kind of hand in hand. They're very, very close nations. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Again, not a lot. And now we're doing the side quest. Now we have to run to the middle of the desert to talk to someone about metals. But we will do that next time. So until then, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.